All right. I'm going to talk a little softly this morning. Everybody's still asleep. Nobody's in this room, so I'm still quarantined. All right. I get to show you off something. All right. I know. Pretty. This is a Cast King uh, Emerald Eagle. And I think you can see the little details in it. See that? It looks like an eagle. These are eagle beaks. If you look here, see that little serration? That's made for braided line. Not too many of these uh, spinning wheels are made for braided line. A nice click. ratio. That's fast for a spinning reel. That's one of the reasons I got it. Besides it was good looking. But it's got 11 bearings in it. It's beautiful. Just beautiful. It's switchable. I'm right handed so you know, you can go down here. But uh, this is uh, let's see this is this right here. This right here is the patent pending. It's, you see, it's more rounded than most, so it releases the line faster. So very, 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 very nice. Very nice. So I'm going to put, see, I about to buy some braided line because I, uh, I ran out 15 pounds. But that's not what I'm putting on it. I'm going to put in a monofilament line and I'm just going to put an eight pound on it and this will be my light duty uh, tackle. Now, not only is that pretty, but the rod matches. Let me show you something about this rod. It's very, 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 very light, very strong. Um, we have sort of a golf club, oh yeah, we got a golf club grip, exposed blank, this way you can feel the uh, fish nibble on it. And so it's the same thing with the seat. Got a fully exposed blank back there. But this is what's so interesting about it. Normally spinning rods have really big guides and they taper down big, 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 and stuff, small, 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 all the way down to small. And casting rods, one right there next to me, they have small guides all the way down. What makes this spinning rod so different is that, that your line is going to go through here and it creates like a vortex and it tightens that line really tight into a single spiral really tight spiral. What ends up happening, the rest of the rod looks totally different. Looks more like a casting rod. Because look, these are all really small guides. Very, very small, all the way down. That's because the, the line's going to come off of that first eye really tight. And what that does, it lowers resistance and it goes much farther. Very cool. If you're wondering, they make 32 versions of this. 32, we're saying that is 32. And uh, this is this is what I bought. Uh, the focus is probably not. It's an apple. So. Oh, that's Bob. But notice here, it's a medium action, fast rod. And uh, so I still have strength, but I can feel every little thing on it. And then the, the clock, Bob. Um, it belonged to my brother-in-law, who passed away a few years ago. One of the best men I've ever met. And... Uh, um, 
and it was sad. It was very sad. So my sister gave me the Bob, Bob the clock because I like the clock. My kids call it Bob too. Yeah, I left it on. I did shower finally. It was that dirty. I was really dirty. So these things. Show you casking. When they package something, they package it. It comes. It comes. With, the box is giving birth. So they do. I mean, this thing's all got up, all cut out, packed in foam. Um, really, they do fantastic packaging. The uh, rod came in a tube reinforced with foam holding it. Again, they don't want nothing to happen to their product and shipment. All right. And of course, if you ever look at reviews on their, their line, they're stronger than other monofilaments, other braided lines, things like that. So, in fact, at this eight pound line, I really in the 12 pound snipe, uh, snapper, uh, striper, striper ones. And uh, my pole was bent like 90 degrees, pulling in that uh, striper. So, very, just because it says eight pounds, this thing can really knock it out. You're over there. I always forget where the camera is. <laughs> we come in front of my own computer. Uh, I'll have my camera broke. Try to find a webcam, you know, this time. And nowadays, because everybody's using them. So, it's a lousy webcam, so I'm not using that one. Um, so, in a week, I'm going to take this out. And uh, we'll, do a, we'll do a wonderful review in one of my favorite fishing holes. And hopefully, hopefully we'll get a, you know, we'll get a top, top water hit. So what do I got over here? The tackle box is over there. So, and the, this, this rod is made by, uh, well, it's branded by Bass Pro. And uh, it's a pro qualifier too. Very nice, very light rod. And yes, I do have, there's my cast. That's my big caster. That's also a cast king. It's called a Spartacus II. Why? Because Spartacus I was not as good. All right. Um, I'm back home. Uh, oh, look. My telescope, too. That's my telescope. So, when I get healthy enough and not quarantined, I'll take it out and take some pictures of it. And, uh, you know, the good planets are out just about now, like Jupiter and Saturn and Mars. Uh, those those are up in the sky right now in the evening. And, uh, you know, get the rings of Saturn or the, the storms of Jupiter. Um, it's very cool you know, when you can look through a scope and see the creations like that. It does make you feel pretty small. So, yeah, that's my telescope. And uh, you, you, you got to enjoy things around you. So, and the more you enjoy it, the more awe that you're in. So, good job. Good times. <laughs> All right, now I'll do a little editing on this and, and put it up on my uh, YouTube page and uh, toss it over to my Facebook as well. So, sorry I had to whisper the whole time, but everybody's still asleep. Seven o'clock in the morning. I woke up at 3.30 because that's what I did. All right, let's start editing.